Okay, in this video, I'm going to fire up the HP touchpad for the very first time. There's just one thing I neglected to tell you about in the unboxing video, and that's just a cool little feature on the USB cord itself. It actually has a built-in wraparound like you'd find on a laptop cord, and uh, it helps you keep things untangled and not so messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plug this in to the device itself and into the wall because you're actually supposed to charge it before you use it. And I'm just going to plug it in and then I'm going to fire up the device as I charge it for the very first time. So let's do that right now. And it seems as after I just plugged it in for the first time, it's going to fire up the device for the very first time. As you see, you see a little HP logo in the center there. Now, the accessory that you can buy for this is the Touchstone dock, which will actually charge the device without ha actually having to plug it in at all. I believe that's $80, it's $79.99. I'll have to check that and uh, I'll update it on the video here if it's any different. But um, I believe it's $79.99 and you don't actually, like I said, have to plug it in. You just place it in this cradle and it will charge the device on its own. It seems as if this is just a, uh, the, the device is off and it's just a charging uh, screen here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press the button on the top here and hold it down and turn the device on for the very first time and let's see what what happens okay there we go the first time powering it up and it prompts me with whatever language I speak obviously I speak English so I'm going to click English interesting thing Deutsch in, uh, German is first so that's pretty interesting English Spanish and then French I wonder why German is is first there probably just alphabetical order Let's hit English here, and we do United States English here, and confirm English, yes, confirmed. Okay, it asked me to connect to my Wi-Fi network, so the reason I put the edit in there is because I put in all the information for my Wi-Fi network. And everything seems really snappy and really responsive, and that's probably because of the 1.2 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon processor that's in this device. As I said in my preview video, this device actually has more power on paper than the Apple iPad 2 or the Motorola Zoom tablet. So it stands to reason that it will be very responsive. Also another thing I liked on the device, which I'll cover later, is that it actually on the keyboard it actually has the numbers on there as well, so you don't have to switch to another keyboard, but we'll get to that at a later time. Now right here is the HP terms and conditions. Now obviously if I want to use this device I have to accept these terms so I'm going to accept them and uh, not read them as usual and hit continue. Then it says HP Web OS account. An HP Web OS account is key to access critical HP services such as the HP Marketplace where you get your apps from. Uh, you can create a new account, or if you already have a WebOS account, you can do it here. I do not have a WebOS account, so I'm going to have to create a new one. So I'm going to click here. <clears throat> okay, it says create WebOS account, and it wants me to put in all my information here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click on here where it says first name and last just so I can bring up the keyboard here. As you'll notice you have your regular keyboard here and up top you have your number keys with some symbols on there. I actually like that much better than the Apple iPad 2 or the Motorola Zoom because you don't have to switch to an alternate keyboard just to enter in keys or just to enter in numbers, excuse me. The other thing I do like about it which is included on the Motorola Zoom is if you hit the shift key you get a capitalized representation of your letters. If you hit the shift key again you have your lowercase. So you know when you're typing uppercase or lowercase. So why don't I fill all of this information in and I will see you on the other side of that. Okay, I just entered in all my information to set up a WebOS account and it says Google Terms and Conditions. The reason this probably pops up is because my main address, my main email address 
is a Gmail address. So I'm just going to, it says location services here. Uh, so that would be where the tablet knows your location and allows you to do location services based on that. I'll probably click on that to accept the terms on that. The second checkbox here, which is already selected for you, it says allow Google's location service to collect anonymous and aggregate location data. Collection will occur regardless of whether any applications are active. Um, I don't mind. They can do that. It doesn't bother me. It might bother some people, so you can check that off. So you do not allow it, but I will allow it here. And then it says auto-locate. You'll be asked for permission when an application wants your location. For your convenience, you may enable auto-locate, which will automatically provide your location for applications without asking each time. You may change this setting at any time in location services preferences. Now, I am going to leave this off because if I do use a Twitter uh, client or just use Twitter, I don't want them just automatically showing where I'm at, showing my, lo my location. So I'm going to leave that off. If you would like to have the auto-locate on, you just click on. I'm going to click continue here. And it says setup complete. Your device will restart in a moment. So here we go. We're going to see the device restart. We're actually going to see the regular starting time on this device once it shuts down. Okay, there we go. Restarting now. There we go. Here's my welcome screen, my home screen on the device. Now we're gonna do a overview and a walkthrough of the device in my next video, but that was setting up the device and powering it up for the very first time. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you next time.